painting an underwater mural using Maker Pro fluorescent paints. What are Maker Pro fluorescent paints? The first step is to protect any areas we don't want paint applied to. It is important to ensure that the area we are painting is free of dust, dirt, debris, and any contaminants. Using isopropyl alcohol, the wall is cleaned thoroughly. The wall is allowed to dry before proceeding. We will be using Maker Pro Paint Adhesion Promoter to ensure that the paint bonds well to the wall. Before dispensing the adhesion promoter, we're going to shake the container to ensure that no settling has occurred. It is then dispensed into paint trays so that the adhesion promoter can be rolled onto the wall. Using microfiber rollers, the adhesion promoter is applied to the wall in a thin coating. We are going to coat the entire wall and let the adhesion promoter fully dry for 30 minutes at room temperature before proceeding. To achieve a rich blue sea color, we're going to mix the fluorescent blue and the ultramarine blue standard color. Both colors are thoroughly pre-mixed. They are then combined in a mixing container. The paint is then mixed to achieve a uniform color. The blue is then transferred to paint trays so that it can easily be applied to the wall using a microfiber roller. The Maker Pro paints are easily rolled onto the wall using a paint roller. We're going to paint the top half of the wall as the bottom half will be covered with a graphic. Once the wall has been covered, we are going to allow the first coat to dry for 15 minutes at room temperature before applying the next coat. The process is repeated to apply a second and third coat of paint to the wall. We're looking for an opaque appearance with this blue. Once the third coat has been applied, the paint is allowed to dry for 24 hours at room temperature. Artwork for the wall has been designed and is then printed on adhesive vinyl paper in four separate sections. The vinyl is then put into place and adhered to the wall. Each section is lined up and adhered in place. Using a razor knife, the top of the design is cut away to reveal the blue background. The vinyl paper pulls easily off the wall without removing any of the blue paint. This process is done for the entire wall. We are now ready to apply the paint. It is important to thoroughly pre-mix the Maker Pro fluorescent paints before they are dispensed. We are going to be using a gram scale to dispense the paints. We are doing this because we are creating custom colors and we want to be as accurate as possible. Using a gram scale allows us to easily and quickly mix additional paint if needed. After we have dispensed all the colors we need, we are going to thoroughly mix them all. This process is done for all of the custom colors. Now it's time to paint. We found that painting on our black light is the easiest way to see where you're applying these paints. The paint applies very easily to the vinyl paper and has a translucent appearance so that you can see the grayscale design behind the paint. This allows us to speed up the painting process for this mural. At times, we have four different people all working on different areas of the mural. We're gonna let the paint dry for 15 minutes at room temperature before applying any additional coats. After the first coat is dried, we're going to apply additional coats to any areas that need more paint or that we want to be opaque. We are then gonna continue painting the other parts of the mural. Diverse colors and hues are easily achievable with the Maker Pro Fluorescent and Maker Pro Standard paint lines.
painting is now complete. Maker Pro paints are allowed to dry for 48 hours at room temperature so that they can reach their maximum strength and scratch resistance. After 48 hours, black markers are used to outline elements in the mural to help them stand out from the background and create contrast in the design. The marker is allowed to dry for 24 hours at room temperature. The next step in the process is to apply a clear top coating to protect the mural. For this, we're gonna use Maker Pro Paint's Blacklight Clear Matte Top Coating. Blacklight Clear Matte is thoroughly pre-mixed and then dispensed into a paint tray. It is then applied to the entire mural to help give a protective coat. The Blacklight Clear Top Coating will not interfere with black light reactivity, giving Maker Pro fluorescent colors a full and vibrant fluorescent glow. Maker Pro Black Light Clear Matte is allowed to dry for 48 hours at room temperature to achieve maximum strength and scratch resistance. And here's the finished result in daylight, daylight and black light, and just black light. And as you can see, those colors really pop. Thanks for watching. Please drop a comment below if you have an idea for a project. Also remember to smash that like button, subscribe if you enjoy what we're doing, and don't forget to hit the bell so you are notified when our next video drops.